Chapter 14, Section 7 is on triple integrals and cylindrical and spherical coordinates. Now recall back in Chapter 11 when we talked about cylindrical coordinates. Well, we can do triple integrals using cylindrical coordinates and the conversion equations we use to go from rectangular to cylindrical would be x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta, and z equals z. Also, um, x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Now, the way you find um, the volume using cylindrical coordinates is imagine you're dividing up the, the solid into these um, little sectors of circular rings. This is a volume of a cylindrical box. It's going to be the area of the base, which is r times d, r times d theta, times that height, which is your dz. So a triple integral, which is where the bounds are define a, a solid region Q of some function of X, Y, and Z dV, where dV is your differential volume, can be written as um, some function triple integral where the outside bounds of integration are the base region R, and the inside bounds would be your bottom Z to the top Z of the solid region times a differential area. So that dv, differential volume, can be dz dy dx or dz dx dy, or even using cylindrical coordinates, that can be dz dr d theta or dz d theta dr, adding that r to the differential area. So a triple integral of a solid region Q of a function of x, y, and z dv, differential volume, where you replace the differential volume with r times dz times dr times d theta, and you're going to replace every x in the function with r cosine theta, you're going to replace every y in the function with r sine theta, and you're going to keep the z's in the equation. The, in this case, the inside differential is dz, so the bounds for the inside would be the bottom z to the top z of the solid region. And then you have your next bounds are for r, your next differential is dr. So your bounds for r go from the small r equals g1 of theta and the large r equals g2 of theta. And then your bounds outside are for your smallest angle theta to your largest angle theta. In this example, we want to sketch the solid region that's defined by the bounds. Now the inside integral. Uh, differential is dz, so these are your bounds for z, the bottom z equals 0 to the top z, 3 minus r squared, and then your next bounds are for r, r goes from 0 to the square root of 3, and then your bounds for theta are from 0 to 2 pi. Pause the video and, and try sketching the solid region, and then come back to check your work. All right, so this solid region is defined by the bound c, where z is between 0 and 3 minus r squared. Those are your inside bounds. And your bounds for r, r goes from 0 to the square root of 3. And then theta goes from 0 to 2 pi. Now the z, your lower z, the bottom z is z equals 0 to the top z equals 3 minus r squared. Now this is um, a graph using cylindrical coordinates, but you can convert this back to rectangular, knowing that r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. This would be 3 minus the quantity of x squared plus y squared, or z equals 3 minus x squared minus y squared. So if we sketch this in three dimensions, your, your bottom z is z equals 0, and z equals 0 is the same thing as the xy plane. So the bottom of the solid region is the xy plane, and then the top of the solid region is 3 minus x squared minus y squared. And this is a paraboloid that opens down, actually the the vertex of that paraboloid is at the point 0, 0, 003. So you have a paraboloid that opens down and there you go. 
So that's our the bottom to the top of the region. And then the radius and the angle theta, you can draw a two-dimensional graph of that to determine the base region. So if this is your x and y axis, your x, y plane, and the radius is from 0 to the square root of 3. And the angle theta is from 0 all the way around to 2 pi. So that base region is a circle. This base region here corresponds to this base region here. And the triple integral itself gives you the volume of this solid region, where the bottom of the solid region is the z equals 0, the top of the solid region is z equals 3 minus r squared, converting that to rectangular, so you see the paraboloid, and that base region is from r equals 0 to square root of 3, while the angle goes from 0 to 2 pi. In this example, we want to find the volume in cylindrical coordinates. Find the volume of the solid region Q cut from the sphere x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 4 by the cylinder r equals 2 sine theta. Now this equation of the sphere, we can sketch that in three dimensions, and the equation r equals 2 sine theta, well you can graph this in polar mode on a graphing calculator and you'll see that that is a circle where the center of the circle is on the, the y-axis here and then you're going to be cutting through that sphere uh, by the cylinder r equals 2 sine theta. Now, by using the conversion equations, the original equation of the sphere was x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 4, and you're going to replace the x squared plus y squared with the conversion equation r squared. So r squared plus z squared equals 4. If you solve this equation for z by subtracting r squared and then taking the square root, the bottom of the solid region is the negative square root of 4 minus r squared, and the top of the solid region is the positive square root of 4 minus r squared. And then r is the projection of that solid onto the r theta plane, or the xy plane, and the bounds for r go from 0 to 2 sine theta, and the bounds for theta go from 0 to pi. So the volume of that solid region can be expressed as a triple integral dv. In this case, dv is written as r times dz times dr times d theta, where the bounds, the inside bounds, are your bottom z to the top z, and then your bounds for r go from 0 to 2 sine theta, we were given r equals 2 sine theta as the equation in the original problem. And then our bounds for theta go from 0 to pi. Okay, you can bring, um, okay, in this case, they're using the, the concept of symmetry here to write this integral. Instead of going from 0 to pi, they're going from 0 to pi over 2 and dividing it by 2. I would caution, though, against doing this in some cases uh, that are going beyond volume because this this assumes symmetry and in this case the the graph is symmetric with respect to the y-axis but there are other cases where whatever it is you're integrating here may not be symmetric with respect to the y-axis so you want to I would uh, caution you against doing that uh, when you do work it out you you and take the antiderivative of the inside with respect to z treating z as a variable and r and theta as constants. And when you simplify, you get this double integral. So we started off with a triple integral for volume, and then evaluating the inside, we get a double integral. When you integrate this, you're treating the r as a variable and the theta as a constant. By using u substitution, you would let u equal 4 minus r squared, so your du would have to be negative 2r. And we have the, um, we can, we can write that as well, and then you would get it to a single integral and work that out using um, either some advanced integration techniques like power reducing formulas 
or you can use a graphing calculator to find the value numerically. And we see the exact answer here, which is approximately 9.644.